Mix it up. Mix it up. That being said, <laughs> we're going to interview our, our guest today. This is Gary E. Um, maybe later, can, was it later? Later? I think. This is background. We're doing uh, our... Me now. Gary's up. Yeah. Oh. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> He wasn't sure if he wanted to talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I thought I was so, getting a local mocha first. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, so, so, how long have you been on Twitter? How long have you lived in Hawaii? And I, I was born and raised here. Uh, lived away from, for a while and moved back recently. Oh, five years. Oh. Um, been on Twitter for about three years. And uh, Dave Kazuki, I follow Dave Kazuki. And I followed him, and I followed him to this different area, different zone of people. A different area? <laughs> Sounds like a back alley. Yeah, a back alley in Hawaii. And um, it's opened up a whole social network for me, social grouping, that I've never, I would never have met people if I hadn't been on Twitter. Wow. Yeah. So, so that, you know, it's uh, good for me. And I'm, I'm a financial advisor here in Hawaii. I work with, with small businesses, individuals. Um, a guideline, if you, if you would, a guide to help people attain their goals financially and uh, keep them on task. Oh, that's that's kind of important in times like these. Well, people right? have dreams and goals, but you know they, they kind of just put it on the back shelf and they never think about it after they say, "Oh, I did this." Yeah. But it's a constant. Uh, the, you know, the changes are constant, so you need to have somebody helping you and keep you in, on uh, task. What's the name of your company? I'm I'm a, a broker with Crown Capital Securities. Okay. Here in Honolulu. So what do you like to do in your spare time? I actually go to a lot of the tweet ups. <laughs> yes you do. <laughs> yes you do. Except I'm, for the, the Waki Beach walk one. Oh, Susan Haramoto says hi. Hi Susan. Susie Schmoozy. Hi Susie. And Aloha Ass is in the chat room. And that's another Susan. Susan Sunderland. So hi Susan. Hi Susie. Hi Susie. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else we should know about you? Um you can DM me if you need information on financial advice. And um, oh, I know what high school you graduated from. Kalani High School, oh public my school. Oh God! Why did I even ask that? <laughs> Go felons. Go felons. What? Felons. <laughs> Falcons. <laughs> okay. So, thanks very much. Um, up next is Jimmy Buffett's, and we're gonna take a quick break. Thank you for having me. And we're back. Okay, so again, we are at Jimmy Buffett's in the Beachcomber in Waikiki, and today we have Randy Koleski, who is also Vision of Randy on Twitter. So if you're not already following him, follow Vision of Randy, one word. Um, and you are the sales coordinator? Yep. Okay, so tell us a little bit about yourself. And I'm originally from Brooklyn, New York. I moved here in 2006 to go to UH, graduated, and started working as sales coordinator here a little bit over a year ago. Wow. Um, and so maybe tell us a little bit about Jimmy Buffett's. And well, we're a relatively new restaurant. We opened in February of 2009, oh. and we opened up with a bang. Jimmy came, had a huge concert in the restaurant, and then down at the Shell. And we're um, we're actually kind of we have three different venues within our restaurant. We have this is our Pacific dining room, mm -hmm. which we have the floor, we have the bars, we have wave booths. It's just a huge venue in here. We seat up to 300 people in here alone. So it's, it gets packed at night with the live music and the drinks and the food. And then uh, we also have our Honolulu Surfing Museum, which is Jimmy's private surf collection. And he has his own boards he rides when he comes out here, just on display in there. Wow. Some great memorabilia, Captain Cook's ring. What? Yeah, it's just, uh, and it's so, it's hidden in there and you have to really look to find it, but it's really cool he has Captain Cook's ring in his collection. <laughs> And then uh, we have our lanai, which is just our, um, we have our breakfast out there. We do events out there because it's a nice little buffet line. It's really, at nighttime with the sunset, it's just beautiful out there as well. Yeah, I noticed you guys have a pretty good view of Calico Avenue and stuff. Yes. You see all the people, people watch. Yeah, people watch. You kind of just, when it's a street parade or a, a parade or everything, you just look right down and it's like, oh, look, overhead view. Cool. Oh, so what are the specialties here at Jimmy Buffett? Well, for breakfast, we have our Loco Moco, mm. which is, oh, it's just so good. It has um, uh, two really good scoops of rice, uh, sautéed onions, then we have the gravy, lots of gravy, 
and then two eggs, any style, but we always try to tell them to get sunny side up because that's yeah. the way to go. And then some green onions, and it is just so good. I eat it two or three times a week for oh breakfast. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's addicting. It's like when you, when you have a locomoco in the menu, you just gotta have it. And we also have an, a great make your own omelet for breakfast and a bunch of other stuff, but the locomoco and the omelet are just great. And then for lunch, we have nachos. We got our burgers, of course. Jimmy Buffett's nothing without the burgers, which is great. We have a cheeseburger in paradise. We have a Lahaina burger, which is like a pineapple mango salsa. On a, it's so good, a nice glazed <laughs> burger, and then a bacon cheeseburger. So we just got plenty of good stuff for everything. And then dinner, we got our drinks. We got the five o'clock somewhere, Land Shark. And Land Shark's actually Jimmy's own personal beer. He oh, created okay. it. It's owned by Jimmy Buffett. And he, I think I've and, heard that. Yeah, and then he has his own line of tequila. He just launched some rum stuff. <laughs> so it's great. He has lots of alcohol, lots of food. It's a great time over here. Have you eaten everything on the menu? Yes, I've actually had everything oh on the menu. God. I've been here for a year and a half, and I've tried everything. Twice, at, at least. least. <laughs> and my, I would have to say probably actually my favorite thing on the menu is we have uh, for dinner a macadamia nut uh, mahi-mahi. Ooh. So good. Ooh. It is just, if you guys come in for dinner, that is the thing to try. It's just so flavorful and nice local tinge to it. Nice. Okay, I see what, what's coming up. Oh. <laughs> the local local smackdown? Yeah. Oh, what's coming yeah. up here at Jimmy Buffett's? Oh, well, first of all, we have 4th of July coming up. Um, we have some special menu items. We have a barbecue chicken, which comes with coleslaw, and then we have a... Um, barbecue ribs, which is we have in the menu normally, but it's coming with um, coleslaw this as well. And then we have a combo of that, the two put together, which is a huge dish, but it's going to be really good for 4th of July weekend, and we're going to offer it all weekend long. Wow. So that should be good. Come check us out for 4th of July if you guys take a break from the beach, having a staycation in Waikiki. We're open all day long. And then we also have our year anniversary hosting the Perry and Price show. Oh. That start, that's on July 10th. It'll be our year anniversary with the show. We started wow. July 11th of last year, uh -huh. and we've been doing it for almost a year now, and it's been great. We've had such good feedback. Um, the MC, Sweetie Picaro, her daughter had the, her graduation party on the show last show we had. 350 people in the room. Oh, my God. It was packed, wall to wall. People are everywhere, sitting at the bar, sitting five at a table. <laughs> it was just great. But, yeah, we're all excited for the year anniversary. There's still a few seats left, and if not, all we're having shows on the 10th, the 17th, and the 31st of July, so we got plenty of shows coming up. How much is a seat? Um, for an adult, it is $22.95 after tax and gratuity. It's the final price, and that's for the parking, for the food, for the show, everything. And then for kids, it's $12.50. And then any kid under six is free. Oh, and it's a buffet breakfast. Yes, right? buffet breakfast. We have everything from scrambled eggs to pancakes to clue of pork and cabbage. Wow. And curry chicken, everything. Wow. Okay, so... Should, yeah. I, shall we try the yeah, let's have a piece. So good. Okay, I should note that this is the locomoco that Steve Boyhara ate this morning. And um, he pretty much ate the whole thing. Like even after we went off air he was still he like grinding. Going. Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, Oh, over easy egg, that's my favorite. Because I just want the egg to ooze all over everything. Yes. <laughs> that's how I when I when I get it, I get the egg to ooze all over and then I start eating. Have okay, a so egg. there you go. <laughs> Should I ooze the egg on this side? <laughs> They're gonna do it on that over one when they try it anyway, so it's yeah. Okay. Do you wanna Let's try a little piece? Oh it's still steaming hot. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So there's onions. It's onions, gravy, rice, the patty, which is the same patty we use for our um, cheeseburgers, so you know it's good. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So and yeah. These are like hand-formed patties, right? I yes, and they're above, like they're just they're nice seasoned with nice seasoning salt. So they're just all sorts of flavorful. Uh, Conchita was saying that you guys grind this fresh? Yes, okay. everything fresh. We have the freshest burgers in town. Really? Mm. 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 <laughs> mm. It is so good. It is good. It's nicely spiced, not overwhelming. The onion is like crunchy, but not too crunchy, not too oniony. And and sometimes oh. I even oh. get. Um, <laughs> Wait. Look, I'm a thief. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> 
whatever. Whatever. Uh, whatever. Oh, another thing I like to do is we have an app. We have an, you can add stuff to the anything on the menu. So what I do with the Locomoco is I add mushrooms. Oh, like, good sa- idea. mushrooms, neck like intermixed with the onion. <laughs> <laughs> But no, it's great. Good as mushrooms, or we have peppers, any of that kind of stuff. So kind of make it your own when you come in. If you want to try it out, add mushrooms. You can get it with or without onions. Eggs, any style. So it's just we're really good with the way you, you can make it any way you want. Okay, and then you guys have hot sauce on all the tables, right? Yes, so, we have okay. hot sauce. Um, we have every Tabasco, all that. Okay, yeah, because today um, one of the anchors at H and L. Hawaii News Now, she was pouring Tabasco all over her local moco. She's like, well, I'm Korean, so I gotta have the hot sauce. I have the kick to it. So. Okay, well, we're gonna take a break while I go retrieve my local moco, <laughs> <laughs> and we'll have more food coming.